Hello there, you're watching yeah, bro. We continued our experiment with a new series of DIY reviews. So check them out and press the like button if you like it. Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments. Everyone knows that a work area should be neat and clean. A lot of people are accustomed to a so-called creative chaos. Tell you he's often leads to not fighting certain instruments when you most need them. So today we feel like we wanna tackle this subject. Today's first DIY is a lodgement made by polyethylene foam. I wouldn't say it's hard making one of these, but it certainly requires dedication. So we will have to be patient. There are four basic steps. Marking, cutting, gluing and pacing. Ok, first thing is first. Let's put all the instruments on the foam and mark. I'd like to point out that some of those instruments may sink. And it's not exactly convenient dragging them up. So, think it through before. Hand and mark the space for your fingers. This next step requires the most of you diligence, because now you must cut it all out. After that you have two things left to do. Glue the layout onto the foam. Notice that before pressing the polisher then, you should stuff those compartments. If you don't do that, it may result in an unpleasant deformation. After you glue it, all there is left to do is to paint the lodgement to give it more aesthetic. And that's pretty much it. In case you often got the need to bring instruments along, you may be interested in this type of crate. Just take a look at it. Looks like a master's job, don't you think? If you are a carpentry enthusiast, but you don't have a workshop or a garage, then I think you may be interested in this interesting portable workspace. I personally think that is a brilliant solution, it's a folding table, and it only takes a couple of minutes to unfold and start working. It has almost everything a carpenter might need. It even has a circular saw. You can easily make it a cross-cut saw and it has a few rests to make it easier to work with. It even just a jigsaw inside, with a special adapter point, so that makes it easier to make curved cuts. You can set the pointer at different lengths. What's even better is that it has a mining machine inside, and it's a good one. There is a lift inside that allows you changing cutters more or less automatically. It's very well told through and optimized. You will find the blueprints by following the link in the description. And now let's take a break from big intricate projects and focus on something a little more simple. This next DIY solution will probably draw the attention of many hunters and fishermen. So this next thing is a pretty simple warmer, made of a battery and a pencil lead. It isn't at all hard making one of these. So take a USB cable and cut the excess part. After that fix the cords to a pencil lead. There are two ways of doing that, by the way. You can use those tiny springs you may find in lighters or pens. What you're gonna do then is put the aluminum straw and cover it with a shrink tube. Now you can plug it into any power bank and keep yourself warm. And this is a very useful thing for those who has to move around sheet material, such as plywood, glass or other. It's not hard at all. All you will need is a piece of plywood, a bicycle tube, a simple rubber band and three pin. Obviously, you can buy one of those. I left two links in the description. One to a video that shows a detailed step-by-step -step process of how you can make one of these. Follow another link if you just want to buy it. This next thing I'd like to show you is a counter measurement device. What's good about it is that it's really easy to make one of these. It's made of metal rods of the same size. Those are tied by two planks. It's very handy and useful. In case you want to lay laminate or tile flooring for instance, it will help you measure tricky parts where there are pipes and corners. For those of you who are interested and enjoy soldering, this next device can be pretty handy. It's called the third hand. Also you can just buy it, 
I will leave a link in the description. But if you feel like you want to try making one of these yourself, then all you need for that matter is a flexible flashlight and three clamps of this sort. Cut as much as you need and as much pieces as you need. Then put those clamps on them. All of this goes on a stand. If you want, you can adjust a magnified lens to it and copper stand. And you know, whatever you can think of, really. So you can practically customize your third hand the way you want. I also would like to share with you this interesting dust catcher. It comes very handy in drilling holes. It really is elementary. It's made of putty bucket, a piece of PVC pipe and this type of angle. There is a desert of window tape on the sides. It won't take too much time to make one of these and it will bring you some comfort. And if you happen to use a core bead, then you can significantly increase the capacity of it by adding some water. And this circular was made of drill. It's good for minor carpentry. I'd like to remind you that safety should always be your main priority, even when working with little things like this. I left the links in the description, in case you want to see how it was made and in case you would like to order one of these from AliExpress. That's all for now, thank you for watching, we will see you next time, goodbye.